just since Sunday, or make that Saturday, 15,600 of these have been ordered. Wow. Now, this is Iron Chef Jeffrey Zakarian by Dash, his safe slice upright mandolin. Never, ever, 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 ever again will you worry about cutting yourself on a mandolin because even if you tried, your fingers could never come close to the blade. Chef is showing you how he's getting wafer thin slices of beautiful garlic cloves, and all it takes is a little pump action because the mandolin slicer does all the heavy lifting, right? Smell that. Oh, it's glorious. It's food perfume. Uh, are we going to make a little uh, marinara? We usually make it on Sundays, but it's <laughs> oh, Wednesday. It's a Cosmo. A I Cosmo. Let's have I a Cosmo. I would have been okay first. with a Cosmo, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but look at that, David. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Now, we make a bunch of stuff, but you can't do that with a knife unless you're, like, really skilled. And why would you? Look how easy this is. No waste. No waste. The entire device goes in the dishwasher. No you're not smelly fingers. No smelly fingers, nothing. It goes, it's just so beautiful. I'm doing french fries. The thing about french fries, David, is if they're not the same, one is mushy, one is burnt, one is just not good. And this does it the same. So look at this. This is what you want when you're cooking french fries. Everything's going to cook properly. That's like a restaurant. So we're solving the problem of like when you would gratin or french it's fry. The look at that. Pomme frite. Pomme frite, matchstick. Call the it matchstick, what you want, however. but it's going to cook evenly because all the work is taken out. We do all the prep for you. Look at that. Is that glorious? It's beautiful. Hey, Chef, let me talk about color choices right quick and remind everyone that this has been wildly popular. Since Saturday, over 15, almost 16,000 ordered. And that was in one airing, right? So this is remarkable. I have this for you in the sage. I also have cranberry. Here it is in eggplant. Zakarian blue, always a popular choice. Then we have it in black. Fewer than 400 left in that block. Mm. And then I have it in orange. <laughs> 300 left in the orange. So don't wait on that. We also have GZ's cast iron griddle pan coming up, which we'll talk about. But all that is coming your way in just a little while. Um, French onion soup, one of your staples at your restaurants, right? One of my staples, and look at this. So this is what's really important. Like vegetables are almost as expensive as meats now, especially everything is off the charts. Notice, no waste. We've cut the onion perfectly, and that's how you get perfectly caramelized onions. Well, let me ask you, since we have you here, and I would love to pick your brain a little bit, um, how best to caramelize onions? What's your favorite method? In a medium pan, very little oil. Make sure you spread the onions out low and slow. You can, if you fire it up, it's gonna, get, it's gonna get burnt. Do you add any seasoning at all? None, because what happens is the salt is gonna take away any of the moisture, and what it's gonna do is gonna make it boil. So you don't want that. You wanna get it caramelized nice and slow. If it starts to stick, add a touch of water. That's all. That's it. And let, you, gotta, you gotta let it do its thing. You can't rush caramelization. And a good caramelized onion would take how long typically? Uh, a good, if you, four or five onions, it's gonna take you about 10 minutes. Just, you just gotta like relax. It's the, just immediate like the heat. smell. The smell Medium of the house, heat. you're gonna be happy. And then a French onion soup, how oh, are you doing? It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Delightful. Look at all the potatoes and I look have. At all the I've potatoes. done it just while we were talking. Look at that. No fuss. Skins on, we're and all let me just show you, right? David, if you look in the back here, this is really important. It's a very easy device. I've put little suction cups on here so that nothing moves. What's worse is a cutting board or something moving when you're cutting, it's very dangerous. Suction cups here, falls down, guess where it goes? In the dish of wash. Now, I think we have some animation that'll yes. talk about how to adjust it. I'd love for you to narrate because really, it's really super easy. easy, right? Very simple, 14 stainless steel blades, very adjustable. You can get 30 cuts here. It goes up and down. It drops right into the, the casing right below it. Very easy action. It keeps your fingers away from the blade. Very important. My kids use this. It just drops right into the catch pin. Very simple, folds up, goes into the uh, dishwasher, and you can do 30 cuts. You don't need 30 cuts. Mm. Well, why not? We gave you 30 cuts. I don't think you'll use more than 10. Very simple again and beautiful. And the two dials here, very oh, easy. Amazing. This is t thick and thin, and this is matchstick, thick or thin. So it's very, th it's very analog, right? And very easy. Very easy. All of it so simple. It goes in the drawer. Don't miss out on this. I will tell you, black is, is now last call. Is that right? About 150 left in that, in that black. Also, as we're prepping for Thanksgiving and all that stuffing, maybe carrots, maybe sweet potatoes. Anything, anything we have. Rest, right? we just have put, uh, we're doing a beautiful carrot chiffonade here or a little matchstick. And we have beautiful gratin of sweet potatoes, one of my favorites. And remember, potatoes, if they're not the same thickness, David, if they're not the same thickness, right. guess what's going to happen? Crunchy, mushy, Overcooked, undercooked. They're not evenly cooked. Yeah, it's really important, and that's why we use this in all our restaurants. This is a way to take real professional 
uh, habits from the restaurant to your home. You know, Chef and I, when we first met, the first product you ever showed this me was it. this one. You also said, David, what's the number one reason people go to the emergency room because of a kitchen accident? And I said, the mandolin? He said, absolutely. Absolutely. People tend to cut themselves pretty easily it's very and easy sometimes pretty badly. Very, very bad cut. It's a not on, a good cut. On a mandolin. But this, this is super safe. And sweet potatoes, I can eat them by the pound. Oh, my word. So They're good on my for you, list. By the way. Really good for you. A great carb. It's a complex carb. Beautiful. Absorbs very slowly. Very slowly. And look, I'm just talking to you while I'm cutting with a mandolin. You would never do this. No, your catch is full. That's why it's spilling it's over. It's full but because I'm not wasting anything. Look at how much I've gotten from just two potatoes. Now, ordinarily, you now, take the end off. Now, did your mom call you GZ? She didn't. She now, did Sonny not. Anderson coined that term about 10 years ago when we started on the kitchen. What did your What did your mom call you, Jeffrey? She called me. Well, when she was angry, Mr. Jeffrey. <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey. Yeah. Get over here. Look at that. So that's two, that's two potatoes. I mean, there's no waste. And by the way, there's nothing in a catch bin. It's done, and I'm not wasting. You know what, how expensive a case of potatoes is now? Oh, it's my insane. word. insane. Yes. Insane. You know what? What state is one of the number one producers of sweet potatoes? I don't know that. North Carolina. You're joking. My home state. I never knew that. I didn't either until I looked it up. This is not a yam. It's a sweet potato. It's true. Different. It? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got caramelized onions. We've got french fries. We've got garlic. We've got matchsticks, uh, carrot matchsticks. And I, I have some onions down there, but that could be, very easily be a mirepoix to use for soup. This could also be stew. for your um, french onion soup. Or a gravy. For gravy, for all those things that we're prepping. And all this can arrive in time for all of your holiday cooking. Because remember, we love the cooking. We don't maybe love the prep so much. This takes a lot of the work out of the prep work. Let me go back and do colors real quickly. Okay. And let you know that we have this available for you in the sage. I also have it in the cranberry. Don't forget eggplant. This is the carrion blue. Black just sold out, I'm told, so we'll take black away. And in the orange. I have fewer than 200 remaining in that orange. And in this show now, 1,500. Is that you, Travis? You right there? There you are, buddy. Thank you. Careful. And how many in this show, Brian? I'm sorry. Over 1,500, and we have another 500 people on the phone lines. Remember, this is an amazing big deal. What does big stand for? Before it's gone. Ooh, Before I didn't know it's that. I didn't either until about a month ago. <laughs> and I work here. You think I should know. I mean, all of a sudden I heard someone say one day, you know, big stands for before it's gone. I was like, seriously? That's what it said. I thought big stand for big. Well, I just thought it was meant a great deal. Apparently it means before it's gone. Yeah, now we all know something. Um, now, what'd you learn today? What big stands for? Um, so all of this comes together for you at a great price. And when you're ready to clean this, Chef, into the dishwasher it goes, right? Best. Oh, so perfect. Don't miss out on this. We're super excited about it and thrilled that we can help you out with all the things that you're prepping most often, and you can do it effortlessly. That's the beautiful part of this. And most of the prep done for holidays should be done ahead of time, so you can enjoy your guests. I tell people, do whatever you can to do it ahead of time. If it can be done ahead of time, you should do it ahead um, of time. Chef, all that garlic is making me think that it would be really nice on prime rib. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. I you happen know. to have a prime rib tonight. You do? From uh, Rostelli Meat. So a great way to do garlic, what we love to do is we confit it. What does confit mean? It's a fancy term for cooking in fat. Pot of olive oil, garlic, real slow, about 200 degrees, uh -huh. about an hour, very low and slow. All that very strong flavor. Do you smear it on the roast? You, 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 you let it so get softened, mm. you let it cool, mm. and then you smear it like butter. Well, like this butter. one comes with butter, so could we mix the, more garlic yes, with absolutely. the butter? Absolutely, and it's wonderful. It takes all the sharpness out of the garlic when you confit it, and it stays forever. <laughs> GZ, you're going to come back and see me? I sure will. Mr. Jeffrey, are you coming back Mr. and see me? Mr. Jeffrey, you come Mr. back. Yeah, if I ever got you David Venable, I knew kitchen. I was done. <laughs> David Venable, get in this house. I'm like, oh, heavens. All right, it's over as, as we know it. Um, I'm going to get ready for said today's special value. GZ, or Mr. Jeffrey, as his mother calls him, <laughs> will be back with another great item. And Julia standing by with some updates. As long as you don't call me Julia Annette.